Absolutely. On the inside then is Bartosz Marzlik in the red helmet colour. Gate number two in blue is Freddie Lindgren. Gate number three in white is Jason Doyle. And off the outside is Leon Madsen in the yellow helmet colour. I do hope you've enjoyed it at home. It's been a smashing night of Speedway. One race to go. Don't take your eyes off of it. Huge world championship points on the line here. Bartosz Marzlik in the driving seat throughout the evening. Can he seal the deal here with a sixth race win on the evening? More than capable of doing it, of course. They chant his name around the stadium. He uh, suddenly is uh, the favourite, the fan favourite once again. Here we go then. Final time of the night. Sartre Marshall's happy. Green lights on. Tapes are up and run away and they charge into the first corner. Oh, it's tight in the first corner. Lingren's hit the deck. Doyle's made a really hard move there. Oh, it's down. Red lights are on. Yeah, it got very tight. Jason Doyle was the one that did probably what he had to do, gate three. Had to clamp Lingren down. It's got to be all four back. Referee that there, Alexander Letosinski, had no hesitation. I'm putting the red lights on. First time we've seen some drama in the first corner throughout the whole evening. We've had to wait till the 23rd race of the night before that's happened. But that was a tough move from Jason Doyle. He actually makes a very good start from uh, gate three. He's there level with Smarslick. Then he decides, right, OK, I've got to clamp it down. And he does that. He has every right to do that. Lingren then can't avoid him. And in trying to do so, then crashes. That, to me, is a very tight first turn and should be all four back. We'll wait and see which way the referee from Ukraine goes here. Latosinski, but uh, certainly no racing room there. <laughs> um, uh, Jason Doyle had the door slammed shut, locked and double locked with a deadlock there. There was no way Freddie was coming through and Freddie really just had no option really. Yeah. Uh, front wheel right over the inside line and just runs out of grip and the bike just unsettled. Quite a long way to the corner. He's already generated lots of speed. He's going to have to back out of that one otherwise it's going to end in bigger tears. All full back then confirmed. Right decision in my view and my colleague's view here, Chris Louis. Um, uh, be a bit of a time here, just a pause to allow Freddie to dust himself down for the uh, restaging of the final on the evening. Well, that set the tone for the final, hasn't it? We yes, know certainly. what to expect here. I'll tell you what, it's going to be argy-bargy in that first turn. No prisoners taken. Um, uh, not a place for the faint-hearted there in that first corner. Uh, no, definitely not. And. Uh, Jason Doyle, we know how tough he is. He will not give a single inch. And he made a very concerted decision there that uh, if he could have got across Swarzik, of course, he would have just kept it on and kept going, but uh, decided he hadn't done enough. Didn't want to risk being run up the banking by Swarzik, so he just went through that gap. And, uh, well, yeah, he stopped Freddie Lincoln's he did, he did, he did indeed. And, um, uh, but, um, absolutely. And uh, it's just two points between... Um, uh, Jason Doyle in third place in the World Championship on 54, Freddie Lingren on 52, so not too much to choose between those two riders and everything to race for here. Certainly um, uh, Jack Holder on 58 is um, uh, in grave danger of being overhauled here now, um, uh, just slipping up and failing to make the semi-finals. Freddie Lingren. Third in his... Uh... Third in the semi-final, he's, he's not going to be giving up too much ground, is he? Yeah, quite possibly we'll pick up 12. Yeah. So, um, uh, not, not a disaster for Holder, but um, the disaster for everybody is if um, uh, Bartosz Marslik wins and moves on to 90 points and almost out of sight after yeah. five rounds. So uh, um, Jason Doyle would have been buoyed by the, the start that he made from gate three because it isn't... So he isn't the best, so he's, he's, he knows he's got a chance. Yeah, the bike reacted very well, actually. And uh, he absolutely nailed it, didn't he? He dropped the clutch spot on. So, riders now just uh, recomposing themselves for the second time for the final. We haven't seen too much of this uh, this evening. Jason Doyle, like he was in Tetra, really did have to work and battle and really uh, force his way through the to the latter stages of the evening. We saw him with a great move actually in Tetero where he was able to get up the inside and hustle that bike into a qualifying spot. So something similar there um, uh, certainly was the case. He knows he's on the worst gate and uh, he's the sort of guy that uh, knows he's going to have to do something pretty ruthless in the first corner if he wants to get amongst the 
the first couple and it'll be at least on the rush from here tonight. So, two-minute clock is on. Riders making their way round for the restart of uh, the grand final here in the Edward Yancess Stadium here in Gorjov. Not too much longer before we get underway once again. Smarslik already up at uh, tapes on the inside gate. Made a good start, actually. Got to do it all again. Often riders do miss out second time. Yeah. And um, uh, we see that often. And uh, the one rider here that's actually got uh, the best opportunity for an improvement is Leon Madsen. Yeah, he Madsen was actually it. was actually caught out by the fact that um, uh, Jason Doyle had made such a good start from yeah. gate number three. Line up for the final then, the restaging of the final. Smarzik on the inside in red. Freddie Lingren out of gate number two in blue. Jason Doyle, gate number three in white. And Leon Madsen off the outside in yellow. Madsen will be hoping that Doyle can't reproduce that stunning start out of gate number three. And he can try and get across him if at all possible. Give himself a little bit more of an opportunity to get amongst the big, big points. Tense times here, Chris. Yeah, this first turn is going to be so crucial to the outcome of this race and where we sit with the championship, particularly yeah. with Smarzlik's lead. Yeah, 12 point lead. Uh, he can extend that now if he wins, of course he can. And um, uh, he can move on to 90 points with a win. He'd dearly love to win here in Gorgia, of course. A place that is so dear to his heart. Spent most of his life here. Here we go then, start Marshall just waiting for the riders to settle. They are now, green light is on, tapes are up and we're underway. Smiles like once again. Doyle, again. Doyle, Doyle comes charging across out of gate number three. What a stunning start. Round the outside, oh. Madsen. Madsen comes from nowhere, comes to the front. Superb move there from the Daily Rider. Here comes Barto Smiles like up the inside of Jason Doyle. Surging into second place. Oh, clash again. again. Freddie Lingwin just collecting Jason Doyle on the way through. Red lights are on once again. This is going to be a tough one. There was some contact there. Whoa, Leon Madsen's going to be so frustrated. It makes such a stunning move on the opening lap. But uh, for Jason Doyle, we've got to see it again. Anyway, how many times has this happened to Jason Doyle? How many times we find ourselves in these finals? Wow. Waiting for a referee. What decision. a start he'd made out of gate three. It was a stunning effort initially. But here we see it again, Chris. Yeah, his reaction from the start was so good. Then he gets beat up. There he gets the dirt deflector on the wheel. He's got off the bike. It's a tough one for the referee. That is a really difficult call because uh, Freddie Lingren certainly was doing everything he possibly could to hold the inside. But he comes in hard. Comes in very hard. But it is the final. Either way, this is going to be brutal on either rider. Yeah, it is. Who's going to go? It's tough, whoever goes really out. Really difficult decision for uh, Alexander Leotosinski. Good to see Doyle on his feet. Drama in the final here, second time. We're going to have to do it three times. Somebody's going to go. Which way is it going to go? Is it going to be Lingren? Is it going to be Doyle? Doyle will be very aggrieved. Oh, the rider oh. in white's gone. Again. Oh, no luck at all for the Australian in the finals this year. He will argue that two times he's been on the rough end of the decision, got the rough end of the stick. Frustration once again for the rider who sits in third in the world. Tough call, that one. Yeah, tough one. It's tough on Jason. Second time this year that that's happened to him. And uh, in terms of the championship, of course, a good result in that final. Having made a start like he did from gate three, his reaction was unbelievable. Oh, he's done such sterling work. But uh, clearly, just... Uh, just holding himself together there. Jason is uh, wears his heart on his sleeve yeah. and often can react. Not the best time to go and have a chat. I'd leave him alone for a few minutes if I were you. No, send Scott in for a... Yeah, well, that would be a character building. There's no doubt about that. But you've got a feel for him, uh, but okay. it was a difficult decision either way. It was a racing incident. Oh, dear. The yeah. camera there has just been turned around. Yeah, been told to go in the opposite direction. So we'll have a rerun with just three of them. That's a disappointment. 
Um, uh, it was building up to be a cracking final. Smarslik had missed out with that stunning start from Doyle's second time of asking. Leon Madsen out in front. How frustrated must he have been when he saw the red lights come on, when he got himself to the front. We spoke about Madsen with the opportunity, and it worked out for him. Yeah, you said it. I mean, you know, they, they were tripping over themselves on the inside. Of course, Jason Doyle had made such a cracking reaction. Yeah. Got the bike to the corner, pinned Smileslick down, did everything he had to do. But, of course, it leaves all the room and all the space in the world for the rider on the outside gate. And in this case, that was Leon Madsen, who's continuing his progress in this championship. Uh, he gratefully uh, received it. He's got to do it all again now. Bartosz Smarslik didn't get away quite as well as he would have liked. Leon Madsen now just being called up. Freddie Lindgren, well, it could have been him thrown out there. Uh, the referee could have deemed that he was the one that just ploughed into the front of Jason Doyle, but in truth, he was right on the inside. There wasn't very much he could have done, really, to avoid him, but a real 50-50 call, and yeah. uh, you've got to feel for Jason Doyle not getting the rubber of the green there, that's for sure. Yeah, and it's for in all fairness, there couldn't have been a wrong decision there, really. It's just referees feeling on that one. And it's gone against Jason Doyle, unfortunately, yet again. What's this man thinking? He hasn't made a clear start from gate one uh, in, in these two attempts to run this race. So he's got to be thinking, you know, what am I going to do in this first turn? Because if you don't make the start and you're on the inside, you get pinned down, it can be all over. Yeah, particularly if Leon Madsen now with no rider on gate number three with more racing room to the first corner, that does him a favour. And uh, he may just find himself in a very handy spot. Anyway, third time of asking. Will we have four laps this time? It's been dramatic stuff here in the final. Riders coming round to the start for the third time. Uh, Freddie Lingren, will his luck prevail this time? Will he get away or will that man who has been in sparkling form tonight, Smarslik, Will he produce a start now that sees him hit the front? I think you've got to hit the front. It's difficult to overtake, particularly after a lap. When it settles down, it's very difficult to um, uh, build up momentum and generate extra pace. Yeah, I was ju just as you started to say that, I was about to ask, you know, if, if Smarset gets pinned down, if he doesn't make a clear start, he doesn't come out of the first turn in front, can he overtake? Well, that's a massive question and uh, we will answer it very soon for you. Bartosz Smarslik on the inside in red. Freddie Lingren out of gate number two in blue. No rider in gate number three. And Leon Madsen from the outside in the yellow helmet colour. Got a feel for Doyle. Got a feel for Doyle. He'll be awfully frustrated. He'll be thinking, what have I got to do to have a bit more good fortune in the finals? I'm working so hard to get there. Just not working out for him, but... Uh, I'm sure he'll reflect in the next few days on the fact that he is getting to finals. He's riding well. Here we go then, third time of asking. Ram final in Gorjov. Tapes up for now. Roaring to the first corner. Smart second Lingren. Lingren's got there. Leon Madsen, keep your eyes on Madsen. He He's going to roar around the again. outside. Madsen fires himself to the front. Smart is relegated to third place. Brilliant move from Leon Madsen. It's worked a treat for him with no rider on gate number three. And Madsen now beginning to power. And here comes Smarslik around the outside. What a move from the championship leader. Winding it on. Leon Madsen now coming under all sorts of oh, pressure. Smarslik, oh, the door slammed. He's looking for a way through. Well, we said, uh, we begged the question, can Smarslik overtake? I've got a feeling it's coming here. He's not going to go. Oh, he has given it up. Gone straight to the outside. That was a very, very quick decision from Smarslik. He's got to be cutting back now. Got to be. One last chance now for Bartosz Smarslik, right out in the dirt. Leon Madsen has ridden a stormer out in front. One last chance, up the inside, Smarslik oh, and he's Madsen. Done it. He's, he's done forced it. his oh. way to the front. Oh. What a ride from Bartosz Smarslik. Unbelievable. Back-to-back -back Grand Prix wins. The crowd are on their feet. He is an absolute superstar. Wouldn't be denied tonight. What a fabulous victory for Bartosz Smarslik. Desperate for the championship, oh, but nonetheless, nonetheless. What does that what? mean to him? Look at it, back here at Gorzhov. Leon Madsen actually rode up the safety fence in that last turn. <laughs> Incredible scenes here in Gorzhov in the Edward Yancez Stadium. A fabulous conclusion to a Grand Prix here. Round number five, a sparkling final. We had to wait, we had to do it three times.
But Barter smiles, Lick. Just wouldn't be denied. Can you show me that last lap again and again and again? I could watch that a hundred times. Wow. Well, we said the answer to the question, can he overtake? Yes. And it was quite conclusive. <laughs> yes. yes, I can. What a stunning ride. The ride of the night. We had to wait for Heat 23, the grand final, to witness it. But by golly, uh, one and two in the world. Madsen nice will be frustrated. Yeah, that's great sportsmanship because yeah, nice that was a tough, tough, tough move. Tough. Yeah, yeah. He, he had no right to come through there. He hadn't made up the ground, but he was not going to be denied that race win. Not indeed. What a way to finish the night. Had us all on the edge of our feet, uh, seats there. Certainly for Bartosz Marslik now. He moves on to 90 points. He wins the final in stunning style. Leon Metzen back in second.